Hello and welcome. So today we are going to talk about how to have on-camera confidence and the three pillars of on-camera confidence. Because I truly believe that being confident and engaging and interesting on camera comes down to three very important pillars. So I'm Bianca. I am a television personality in Canada. I am on Canada's number one daytime talk show. I have my own cooking show. I had a very successful podcast. And now I teach people just like you how to show up on camera with confidence so that no matter what you're saying, people pay attention to every single word. Because being on video is fun. So we're gonna talk about the three pillars. So the first pillar, and this is always where you have to start, and that is confidence. And so I like to say that when you are employing this pillar of confidence and learning how to communicate confidence in nonverbal ways like gestures and body language, and I like to say that confidence is what you do to get people to believe you, to believe what you're saying, to be interested in what you're saying. And so you have to be mindful of these things. How are your gestures complementing what you're saying? Are they taking away from your message or are they highlighting and punctuating points? These are things that you have to think of because these speak to your confidence before you even open your mouth. The second pillar is mindset. And I like to say mindset is the stuff that you do that makes you believe you, that makes you show up on camera like, like an expert and really there with a commanding energy. And so things like understanding visualization, understanding how to pull yourself out of your head and into your body when you're super nervous, you know, how to employ certain visualization techniques and affirmations that are perfectly written for you and what you need to resolve. Maybe it's not looking at the camera enough. Maybe it's blinking too much. Maybe it's off-putting and nervous energy giving gestures. Writing affirmations to positively affirm the opposite of that can be really powerful to helping you show up on camera having fun, being confident, being cool. Because here's the thing, when you are confident and calm and interested and engaging, people will give that energy back to you. They will be confident in what you're saying. They will be engaged in what you were saying and they will feel calm watching you. When you're nervous and jittery and anxious and hesitant, that's what you get from your audience, hesitant, nervous for you, cringe, and those are none of the desired effects. And the last pillar is where the marriage of mindset and confidence comes together because this is the thing about content and that is our third pillar, content. Our third pillar is content because anything, any piece of content rather, can be given to anybody. So clients can give you the same content as they give me. And what's going to make that content interesting and dynamic and different and from a different point of view is the application of me to it. And you need confidence and you need to have it together in your head. Your mindset has to be good in order for you to bring the seasoning and the sprinkle and the life to a piece of content. That's why advertisers and companies come to people who are dynamic on video because they recognize the power of having someone get people excited about their product or their event through the means of video. It's one of the reasons almost every single platform is prioritizing video content this year and probably going forward. And so you wanna know how can you take an idea a seed of an idea and make it into something bigger, into a delicious piece of content that you effervescently deliver. And so are things to consider. How are you going to lead them to what you want them to know? How are you going to hook them at the beginning of your videos? How are you going to close that video? What is going to make your like your content more engaging than someone else's. And that isn't to say that you're, you know, trying to compete and like beat someone else, but what makes you different? Is it a point of view? Is it how you use language? Is it how you use yourself on camera and your body? How do you take a piece of content and apply you to it? 
That is really the third pillar because once you feel confident, you have washed out some of those gestures that might be distracting and you've found your voice and you are rooted in it. And then you have mastered your mindset. You know how to take away the anxiety and how to get out of your head and into your body and stand with strong confidence. Once you have all of that, then you have what it takes to go into a piece of content and dissect it and put it back together as yours. An interesting and engaging piece of content that people can't look away from that clients are so happy that you're a part of because that's really what it's about being on camera is bringing something that is static on a piece of paper in an email and bringing it to life and that is the beauty of being on camera and so those are the three pillars there is confidence mindset and content when you have those three sewn up your game is good. And so you can download the Three Pillars of Confidence freebie. It's the checklist. It's everything that you need to know about the three pillars and how you can employ them in your life right now so that you can feel confident and cool and engaging and interesting on camera. And I also have the On Camera Confidence 10 day boot camp where over 10 days you learn the ins and outs of tech, of the confidence, of mindset, of content, and everything in between. So that by the end of the 10 days, you are ready to hit the ground running, not only understanding how everything works, but confident enough to go implement it and put it into practice. It's a beautiful thing. Until next time, have a wonderful day.